this here is the Emperor costume. And it basically says that uh, as the highest ruler, it was really important that um, he had correct, correct, he had good clothing. Um, the more elegant and luxurious the clothing, the more um, majestic, uh, majesty, majesty and supreme imperial power. So that's like the, that's kind of an idea of what it would be like. And that is the uh, headwear. This is the a belt. I guess they are. Is to show the level. We've got a statue over there. We've got these. These are not real. They're genuine. These are cool. And then this is about the Empress clothing. So it's, it's also important about what the Empress wore. I mean, did it be colourful, decorations effective, a lot of the elements of everyday life. So it's like it's really hard for me to see a leather belt with embedded jade. Jade is what we saw, what, what, what went to to look in uh, it, it went to one of the places earlier. Plain material, the material had many spe species such as satin, twill, luo. Silk yarn, their complex making process reflected the excellent weaving technology of Ming Dynasty. The rich and colorful asbestos, asbestos patterns reflected the broad and profound asbestos culture and people's hope for a better life. Very nice. Top now is one fifty one. I know it's very quick. Just one. Clothing accessories were the imp the important. Affiliation, affiliated, affiliated elements of clothing they contained dainty materials, cra uh, crafty shapes, and all the good things and implication, uh, implication and reflected the luxury freedom of court life in Ming Dynasty. So we have a triple gold. Is that right? Is that right? It's in belts, they don't look like that. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's like part of the belt. I think these are things are different, the different things are part of the belt. That's a vase. So, oh, it's a, it's a goblet. That one. And this is a incense burner. And that was a goblet. The goblet of fire.
tourist. Stop. Brian will design of two children offering birthday congratulations. Hello. Buttons in the shape of a plum blossom with butterfly. And she has some flower with bees. Well, it does say up there actually. <laughs> that helps. They're big mm. uh, luxury. So Zhu Dai was a great emperor in China's history. Ming Dynasty during his reign and a very high achievement in the political, economic, cultural, military, diplomatic and other aspects. The exhibition will show Zhu Dai's contribution. Through this exhibition we can understand Zhu Dai and know the Ming Dynasty under his rule more intuitively and profoundly. Strong words. That's good. Uh, so he was the third em uh, emperor of the Ming Dynasty. He was also known as Yong, Yong Emperor during his reign. So he's in reign for 22 years. He reformed the institutes and set up the cabinet system, dredged the Grand, uh, Grand Canal and developed economy, complied the Yong Canon, strengthened the rule of North East, North West and South West, also to the North South border, repeatedly supported Yeheng yeah, it was voyage strength in the front. I don't know. It's a bit too much information there. Not really. These are gold ingots. Oh, Only the silver, gold and silver ingots. We don't really know what that means. Therefore. <laughs> I don't know, that looks like a scroll. Okay, so this guy here just basically, sorry, I was off quiet for a minute. Basically, just said that he um, exempted um, from taxation in other ways. Under his reign, the national finance reached the, the highest level. And there have been no kind of scroll here. Cool. It's a statue of the trap. Jade culture in China has a long history, so that's what, we, what I saw earlier. Going back to the Paleolithic period, after thousands of years, continue, continuous development. Jade culture develops to the peak in Ming and Qing dynasties. Ming and Qing Jade were reached a supreme artistic realm through absorbing the fine tradition of the previous generations and performance method of drawing and sculpture. The exhibition selects 40 jade objects, oh, 
worth a couple of towns together, including the original Jade material, Jade Bolt and Jade Belt and so on. We can appreciate the craftsmanship, craftsmanship's consumer skill and the broad and profound Chinese Jade culture in this exhibition. Liquid box. And then another box there. Looks a bit different than the other one. Got another box there. So. And then we have a mirror stand. I like that a lot. They love their dragons here. I've got a boat over here. This can get me back to the UK. If I don't have enough money, Just rob it. And this wasn't here. This wasn't here in the uh, in the 1400s. <laughs> Mind you, they are selling jade. Who will want to sell a jade? You know, jade. You know. Silver plate with two phoenixes. I don't know. Oh, I like these. Cool quiver. This looks cool. This is a silver loop handled kettle. Bowl. Goblet. Container of golden spoon for 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 of of golden spoon and chopsticks. Gold inside bag. Yeah. All good. Uh, over there, I think. Okay.